Hi, I'm the Scrub, and you're here for one reason. There once was a divine being that brought equilibrium to the citizens of a Mercedinian nation. Unfortunately, oil was discovered, and this divine being was subsequently captured for suspicion of being a weapon of mass destruction. Being in prison for 5,000 years can change you into a deity of pure vengeance. Whatever you do, though, don't read into the lyrics of this song. It is f***ing depressing. No, I actually mean it. Like, the lyrics should come with a trigger warning or something. It's quite upsetting. Time to learn about Containment Bay P1T6. Simplified. Sophia will perform the following attacks. Aero 2 is a point blank AoE that will give you a knockback if you get hit by it. Thunder 2 is a conal AoE directed at the main tank that will give an assunerable electrocution debuff if you get hit by it. Thunder 3 is a big donut AoE. It will give you a stack of Volnup if you get caught in it. Just be really close to or really far away from the boss if she starts casting this. Quasar is a proximity AoE at the feet of two random party members. Just move away from them to reduce the damage to you as it can easily one-shot you. The daughter's head will then teleport to another point on the side of the arena and perform a straight line AoE. This AoE is always larger than you're anticipating, so make sure you're fully on the opposite side of where the head is or if the head spawns in the middle of the arena right off to the sides. If you get caught in the AoE, it will give you a Vuln stack. Sophia herself can become untargetable and teleport to a spot on the west or east point of the arena. Sophia will then dash across, cleaving half of the arena in the direction she is facing. Just make sure you get to the opposite side of wherever she is. If you get caught in the AoE, it will give you a Vuln stack. After she dashes, she will return to the arena. At times, she will hold a glowing orb in her hands. When this happens, she will throw out an unavoidable room-wide AoE called Sintamani. When Sophia teleports to the north end of the arena and casts Cloudy Heavens, this will end phase one. She will become untargetable and summon three adds into the arena. She will also give everyone the debuff of Eternal Doom. You will have one minute and 20 seconds to destroy all three adds, which honestly shouldn't be a problem today. I would recommend focusing the adds down in this order. Firstly, the second Demiurge. It will have a staring contest called Divine Spark, which you will need to look away from, or else it will hit you with confusion and you will attack your fellow party members for a few seconds. It will also attempt to heal the other adds if their health gets low enough. Then it's the third Demiurge. This ad will cast an AoE at its feet called Ring of Pain that will turn into a puddle of ice that will give you an unassumerable frostbite debuff if you stand in it. That puddle will remain there for a while. It can also cast Gnostic Spear, which is a straight line AoE directed towards a random party member. And finally, the first Demiurge. This ad has a directional parry. It will quickly cast horizontal or vertical Kenoma and put up parry shields. It will knock you back and recall damage to you for every hit you land in the direction that these parry shields are up. If you are hit with enough damage to die while you have the Eternal Doom debuff, you won't actually die, but you will be turned into a zombie and begin attacking your fellow party members for 20 seconds. However, after you are turned into a zombie, you can still be killed. After all three ads have been defeated, everyone's Eternal Doom debuff will be removed and she will begin using the scales to tip both sides and then perform her ultimate. If any adds are left alive when her ultimate hits, it will definitely wipe the party. When she performs her ultimate, the fence that surrounds the arena will be removed, which means you can now fall off. Sophia will then return to the arena and begin to repeat mechanics. The first Quasar after the ultimate won't have any proximity markers underneath players. Instead, every time you see her cast Quasar, she will have small tethers to the scales on the outside. For every line a scale has tethered to it, a meteor weight will be added to that side of the scale. You will be knocked towards the side that has more weight. This can also be nullified with knockback immunity skills. If you don't use your knockback immunity, make sure that you are definitely over to the side that has less weight, because you will be yeeted to one side of the platform and will have the chance to fall off and die. The glowing orb room wide AoE will now hit twice instead of once. Sophia will target four random players. Two will get purple circles and two will get white circles. These circles will start to close in around the players. To solve this mechanic, a purple circle and a white circle must stand with each other as the circles reduce to nothing. If you fail to do this, the people with the white circles will get an assumable bleeding debuff and the people with the purple circles will get an assumable debuff of reduced immunity. If you stack both circles of the same color, they will explode and give everyone in the party an assumable debuff of whichever color was stacked. If you take too long, the demiurges will begin to spawn into the fight and repeat their mechanics from the ad phase. You can choose to ignore them, but they don't have a lot of health if you want to burst them down quickly. Sophia will repeat mechanics until she is defeated. Congratulations, you have defeated Sophia. My name is The Scrub. Thank you for watching.